Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is a subject that you are interested in, please do stick around. Uh, so today I wanted to talk with you guys about a little bit of branding. And so if you're selling on platforms such as Etsy or even Amazon via Seller Central, um, you know, branding is something that you may want to do in order to boost your sales a little bit. So if you use something like Printify or even Printful will do it, but not as well as Printify, you can do things like packaging inserts, for example, to kind of help you brand. You can also do individual labels like the neck labels here. That's going to be a little bit more pricey. So unless you're, you know, really pushing your brand to be a big brand you might not want to start there but package inserts are something that you can do that's pretty low cost i mean it says 15 cents per insert 10 cents if you have printify premium and they'll stick this little card in you know the package that they ship out to your customer so if somebody buys one of your things on etsy they get this little package insert with it um, and it's just a way of marketing and branding. So for example, a lot of people buy things as gifts, right? So if I was buying something on Etsy and I was buying it as a gift for somebody else, it would come with this little insert that then this somebody else could look at and they could track it back to your store if they saw anything that they liked. Um, and it's just a way of getting people to come back to your shop. And so, this is a pretty um, easy thing to do. Printify does the cards. Um, you can also have it printed kind of on Printful, but it's more of just almost like a little receipt thing, so it's not as nice. But you can use the same format. So once you've designed your kind of, you know, thank you thing, um, you can use it for both. Um, and so here you go. This is a six by four card. So if we were going to design this, I would go over to Canva and I would just go ahead and pull up a blank page for six by four. Now I've already done one, so I'm going to show you what I have. And so this is mine. And so this is a six by four inch design right here. Um, you can get templates by the way. So there's all sorts of templates. So if you go over to design and you search, thank you card template it's going to give you some awesome templates that you can use that you can just fill in or that you can, um, you know, just sort of use to sort of create your own. So this is the one I have, but I do have a blank page down here so I can show you with any of these templates. Let's get one that's kind of similar, something like this. And so you can see how it fits in here and then you can just edit any of this you know, to include your information there. And there's lots of different ones here. So I can do that template. Um, if I don't like it, I can totally get rid of it or I can keep parts of it. Um, I can get another template in here. And so you can see how we can just sort of edit and play with these individual elements. Um, now I do have crop lines on here and it took me a little bit of playing to get my crop lines right because when it does print, it is gonna crop out some of these areas. So you need a certain amount of bleed. So you don't want any of your important elements to go outside of this bleed edge. Um, and so this one, for example, would go out. I'd have to bring this down a little bit to keep it inside where it wouldn't be bleeding. Um, but those are all just things to think about. And of course you can take any of these and move them a little bit so that you can get them where you need to go oops so i mean i can definitely slide some of those down that bleed can go out that can go there and so that would fit pretty well and i can use just a plain white background i can you know create a background here like i did with this one so with this one what i did was i just went up and i looked for like a water watercolor style backgrounds let me duplicate this so I don't mess up my original. So here's my original. And so I got this watercolor background and I just stuck it on so that I could create that sort of um, layered look. And I did the same thing down here. So I just sort of stuck it there to create that look so that I'd have that stripe going through there that I liked. I used the same um, 
font here, Great Vibes, which is what I use in my logo. So I went ahead and put my logo for Etsy um, right here. So it says, thank you for choosing us. I've got my therapy designs logo down here. I have, if you loved your order, we'd love to have your review and you put the little five stars just to urge them to give you a nice five star review. And then on both sides here, there's two different things that I've got going on. So one is going to be just a code that they can scan that will take them right to my shop. Um, and then the other one is going to be like a code, like a coupon code. So this one would say, thank you for your purchase. Uh, to show our appreciation, please enjoy 25% off your next order with the code SAVE25. Now, before you worry that, oh man, you're gonna lose money, you, they can't use this code on top of a sale code. So if you already have shirts, let's say that you sell at 25% off, and then they try to use this code, they're still only gonna get 25% off. They're not gonna get 50% off. Um, and so if most things in your store are already 25% off, you know, then it's kind of a wash. Um, but if they did go and they bought something that maybe you had 10% off and then they use this code, well, then they would get 25% off the, the total cost. Um, so it would just, it would override the 10%. So things to think about, but definitely um, worth throwing in there as a way to kind of get people to come to your shop as a way of marketing. And then this, I wanted to show you how to do this, is pretty cool. So um, Etsy has, um, here, let me jump over to Etsy, I'll show you. Etsy gives you a link right here to, to share your, um, to share on social media or to share on, on your thank you cards or anywhere so that you can bring people to your shop and, um, and you get, um, well, I mean, they call it share and save rewards where, you know, they'll take 4% off the total order um, if somebody buys it using your link. So this is the link that you would want to use. And to get it, you would go to your shop manager, go down to marketing. And from marketing, you would go to share and save. So that's where I'm at now. And that is where you would get this link. Now, this is the link that you're going to want to share on your card. So you can copy it. Um, you can hit copy link right here, copy. And then you can go back over to your card. And to get this, by the way, you can come down here and it is going to be under apps. So I can go to my apps. And there's all sorts of different apps that you can use. Um, and so if you haven't looked through here, it's a good thing to look through. I've done some videos on some of these apps, but this one would be the QR code. So you can click QR code. And it's just going to want you to hit the URL, which is what you just copied from your shop. And you can hit generate code. And it is going to generate a QR code based on that. And so that's what I have right here. And so it's just the same thing right there. And it'll pull it up and you can put it on your design there. And I went ahead and put that same um, website down here, that same code down here too. So they could just type that in their browser as well. Um, and so that all is included on the thank you card um, as just a little sort of bonus way of branding and marketing your products for Etsy. And so if I was to go ahead and just take this, I'm going to show you real quick. Let's go ahead and download this insert. So if I was to go ahead and go back over to Printify and let's say I wanted to set up package inserts. Now I already have these. You want to hit enable inserts for all eligible orders right there. And you can go ahead and edit your design here. Now I already have mine. And so this is what it looks like when I stuck it in there. And you'll notice there's a little white border around the sides. So I did add some bleed to make sure that nothing got cut off. And I did have to play with it a little bit because initially I was too close to the sides and some of my stuff was getting cut off. So I did play with that a little bit. Um, just to make sure that I, um, that I got it all in here. So here it says it's a four by inch card, but there's a four millimeter border all the way around, which actually would mean that there's an eight millimeter, you know, gap or four and four is going to be eight. So top and bottom, and then on the sides too, that you have to make sure that you've got, you know, uh, room to cut off your design because if you created your design and it was all the way four by six it would go all the way to the edges here 
and so you would get that much cut off around the edges and so that's why when I created mine I had to make sure that I had that little gap all the way around the side so that nothing important could get cut off. Anyways, uh, this is just a way to drive more people to your shop and it's just a little cheap extra thing that you can do. So if you are selling on Etsy and you do wanna promote your shop and try to get some more sales and some more traffic, um, this is a really easy thing that I encourage you to do. And once it's done, it's done and you know it'll come out on all of your orders. And so it's not something you have to do again and again. So I definitely think you guys should look into this, play around with it a little bit. If you have any questions on this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. I know that when I'm talking to my audience, people sell on different platforms. So some of you will sell on Etsy, some of you will sell on Amazon, some of you will sell on Merch, some on KDP, some on um, you know, every other platform there is, Redbubble and other things. Um, and so uh, if this applies to you, if you have your own shop, it's always a good thing to do. So if you're using any of those third-party print companies, even if you're not using um, Printify, a lot of them will have little branding um, cards that you can use. If you do your own shipping, uh, if you make your products at home, that's also something that you can do would be to print out these cards and send them. So it's just a good way of trying to get a little bit more traffic. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.